In this video, we are going to show you how to disassemble the ISP3000 ultrasonic processor configured in the flow through mode. To begin the disassembly, make sure the ultrasonic processor is turned off. Next, disassemble the ultrasound cable connection. Make sure there is no liquid in the main working liquid lines. After that, disassemble the inlet and outlet connections by removing the clamps, gaskets, and hoses. Attach the transducer cooling lines. Remove the wing screws from the reactor chamber lid. Lower the reactor chamber and remove it from the support stand. Detach the support arm from the reactor chamber by using an adjustable wrench. Next, remove the ultrasonic stack from the support stand. Detach the support arm from the transducer by using an adjustable wrench. Insert the pin of the first spanner wrench into a hole in the transducer's front mass and hold it against the workbench to prevent counterclockwise movement. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench into a hole of the horn's input end and set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Tap the second spanner wrench with a rubber mallet to create counterclockwise torque while holding the ultrasonic stack in place with your hand. When the barbell horn turns with respect to the transducer, remove the wrenches and continue by hand. Remove the reactor chamber lid. After, remove the top o-ring from above the flange of the barbell horn. Next, remove the Mylar acoustic washer to make sure that it is clean of any particles or scratches. Remove the bottom o-ring from below the flange of the barbell horn. The ISP-3000 is now disassembled. 